it's moving day! brought some of the big machines over last night and he's currently on the way home uh, bringing some other things. I have no idea what he packed but um, we'll see what he gets here. It's technically a Saturday so we're not supposed to be working um, on the weekends but we're just too excited about the new space. It's gonna be weird. It's already weird with these machines in here because it's at our house. Our shop's going to be at our house, which sounds so crazy saying, but there's the tools. We kind of, so we have this pole here in the very dead center of the shop that is going to act as the hub of the main tools. So we have bandsaw, dust collection, table saw, and our jointer. One final look at a fairly empty garage before... It gets filled up. We have our junk corner already, not junk, our junk corner already kind of set up back there. We'll probably get moved and all of this stuff on the shelf has a place in another spot that's not here yet. So it looks so good like this looks so good already. I can't wait. Today is now the official moving day. It is Monday and we're going to the shop right now. Dylan's getting the trailer hooked up and we're gonna go get the rest of the stuff, I think. I think we can make it fit. Don't quote me on that because it's probably not true, but we have all of our big things in here, but none of the smaller stuff. So that is what we are getting today. And we also have to go up in the attic of the shop. <laughs> And I don't even want to look up there. There's so much stuff that, I don't know. We'll see what we take and what we leave behind. <laughs> this is weird. loading up that workbench earlier but we got it to the house and realized we didn't have the casters they don't work that well and we couldn't get it off the trailer so we're gonna try again we'll probably end up taking the top off to separate the two so it's not ridiculous ridiculously heavy to put in the new shop <laughs>
so much progress, but we still have a lot of stuff left. majority of the big stuff pretty much all of it some of this is staying for Dylan's dad to use um, so we're going to take this to the house but we only have a few little things left to get which I think we can get just in the truck hopefully it is so empty in here even though there's a lot of stuff it feels really empty we're gonna have to organize the new place because I don't know where any of this stuff is gonna go even though the new shops bigger than this one it's already pretty much full, so there's going to be some smart organizing happening soon. <laughs> oh, we haven't even gone upstairs yet, either. We'll just have to wait and see what happens later on, but let's go home and start unloading. much to Ariat for sponsoring this week's video. You've heard us talk about Ariat before and you know we absolutely love them and they've hooked us up with some new things since we last spoke. So starting with this Ariat work shirt which I absolutely love. I'm a pretty basic person and this just fits right in along with this one which I have been living in. The design is amazing and since it's now been getting cooler outside I got this FR rated long sleeve shirt and the color is probably my favorite. It's like this oatmeal color, long sleeve, basic, perfect. It has pocket, has a pocket right here, which is really nice for sticking a pencil in. And you guys know that I always wear leggings. I probably don't hardly wear anything else. So let me show you these. I'm gonna talk up here, but I have these tech pants which are so comfortable you got the area on the side and you have a pocket they are kind of seven quarter seven eighths seven eighths length which is awesome that is my absolute favorite these are perfect for on the go and also in the workshop as you know because they are already dusty from moving but they also have these area work pants which are so durable i probably should put them on here are the women's rebar utility leggings they are straight legged which is super nice they are a nice thick material but they're also really stretchy you have two pockets here which women you know that's a major plus but they also have a phone pocket on the side anyways these are going to be super helpful when it gets really cold outside because they are thick and it's a little hot right now so that's why i was in the tech pants but these are rather new to the women's workwear line which is amazing because i'm always on the hunt for some really good work clothes and these are it and also the other day i was looking on their website and i was trying to find the name of something that we have went onto their website in the search bar typed in wood broom and there is all of the products that we love and wear almost every day in the shop so go check that out also later this month area is having one of their biggest sales of the year from november 24th through the 30th so be ready to go shop the website for amazing deals now let's get back to moving in take everything out of our dining room cabinets and everything that has just been sitting on the floor I think there's more stuff in this side yep a few batteries nothing much but this will be nice paint stirs anyone
It's a new day. We've got this space, the old space, sort of cleaned up a little bit. It's where it's going to be until we get our shop fully done and we can have some time to sort through all the stuff that we need to get rid of or store elsewhere. Molly is doing the last bit of sweeping before we head back to the shop and finish things up, but I think there's one last thing that we forgot to grab, Molly. What? Oh, yeah. You want to do the honors? Can we do it? It's a pretty pretty important thing not to forget. This is going right up in the new shop. We've got to find a place for it on our beautiful walls. We haven't seen it in like a year. I know. It's kind of crazy. Right? Pride and joy going home. That is going to do it for this move in video. This is how the shop is currently set up, but I'm sure it'll change at some point. But for now, everything's gonna be staying like this and I think it's going to work really well. Everything in the drawers and cabinets are the same as the previous shop. I will link that shop tour video down below. And as you can see, there is a empty spot in the corner in the shop and that is for a new tool that we cannot wait to share with you here Soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video. Bye!